Hi guys, it's against all odds once again on Tregon TV. Last weekend we had seven over nine of our calls. It was a bit decent. We hope this week we can make it much better. I'm Deji. I'm stuck here with Kelechi today. Okon is not available. Away on some things. Uh, but it won't stop us. We roll. I, I hope um, uh, Okon's absence brings good luck and we hit the nine over nine, the jackpot this weekend. Yeah, last was seven over nine. Uh, well, Kelechi, let's start in England. It's FA Cup weekend. Wigan host Manchester City. Uh, they have history of having beaten Manchester City in the FA Cup final. But this time around, we think Manchester City will take the win. Uh, one loss in 18 uh, for Manchester uh, City. Uh, it's uh, something that you think it's going to be hard for Wigan to break that. Uh, Pep Guardiola's side has found uh, an interesting form. I think they, they are still not happy that they couldn't uh, break that record of um, beating Ron. And uh, it, it's hard for me to see a Wigan side who's not won in their last three games. Yeah. Um, uh, exactly. And uh, how would they get the best of this City side? Uh, for City, you might see a lot of uh, new legs. Uh, the likes of Silva playing that game. Sane, who are just coming back mm -hmm. from injury. Uh, Fabian Delft, just to give them match fit fitness uh, before they go into that big tie. Um, uh, against Arsenal. All right, then, Kelechi, let's move on to Italy. Uh, it's the derby, the big derby in, in Italy, of course. Juventus versus Torino. Torino, this time at home, uh, they're playing against the Juve side. They haven't defeated since 2015. I think Juve will avoid defeat. Juve winning eight of their last uh, Serie A games. Uh, it's, a, it's a huge one. Juve um, undefeated since uh, November uh, 2016, 2017. Sorry. It's also a huge one for Juve. Going into this derby where um, Torino has not mm. beaten Juventus since 2015. I think Juventus will avoid the fence. Yeah. All right, Kalich, let's move on to Spain. Real Betis host Real Madrid. The reverse fixture, uh, Real Betis did beat Real Madrid at Santiago Bernabeu. But this time, looks like revenge is the keyword for Real Madrid. I don't think it's just uh, the away form of Real Madrid. I, I think it is their um, uh, general form. Uh, with the league lately, yeah, lately. They, they've picked up their scoring goals for fun. Yes, they are conceding, it's a question, but I think Real Madrid has enough. I think there's revenge at the back of Real Madrid's yeah, mind. Um, the likes of Ronaldo, Benzema, uh, and even Modric might be very vi vital in this one. Uh, Betis have, have lost three of the last five. Um, not a good, uh, not a good form uh, for Real Betis. Yeah, starting to, to sort of bleep uh, this Real Betis side. Mm -hmm. All right, then, Kalechi, let's move on uh, to the German Bundesliga. There's Wolfsburg versus Bayern Munich. Uh, we think there will be at least a goal in the first half, over 0.5 at halftime. And when you look at the Bayern side that has at least uh, scored or considered one in the first half in their last seven, and then going against the uh, Wolfsburg side who themselves are not strong defensively, mm. I think. Um, it's not too much to ask that we see one goal in the, in first, this half. Time, in the first half. I think we will get to see that. All right, moving on to France. Uh, there's Monaco versus Dijon. Uh, we think Monaco should win and go over 1.5 in that game. Uh, for, for Monaco, it, it's been a thing for them this season um, at home to at least have about uh, two goals in it. I, I, just one Monaco game this exactly, season. Exactly, I'm sorry. Sure. I, I hasn't seen two goals. I, I hasn't seen two goals. And I, I think that's why w w we think it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Now, Monaco themselves are getting back to their best. Unfortunately, uh, the league, I think, is already concluded. Uh, but I, I think we would see two goals in this one. And Monaco would go on to win this. And then finally, Kelechi, PSV host and Riven in the Dutch Eredivisie. Uh, we think that game should give us two goals. Mm -hmm. Last seven fixture has seen two goals in yep. uh, this exact fixture. The last seven of um, their last, uh, uh, last eight has seen at least two goals. I think PSV themselves uh, are in control of the Dutch league. Uh, they are doing so much to make sure that um, they go on uh, to win this one. Mm -hmm. I think two goals will be in this. Now, not too sure um, how it's going to, um, uh, how this one is going to swing, but I think that we will see those goals in this game. Yeah, talking about goals, let's move on to our goal scorers. Three of them once again this weekend. Uh, Lionel Messi, three in his last four in La Liga, should back another one this weekend. Yeah. I think after that disappointing showing at the weekend, the goalless score line, you, 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 you see fire in Messi's eyes. I, I think. Yes, they are going to go against Elba and try to tear Elba apart. I think Messi would get a goal in that feature. And we're going back uh, to the FA Cup. Uh, this time it's Hugh Ming Son. Uh, he didn't get so many minutes against Juventus in the Champions League. But for a player that prolific, back at home domestically in the FA Cup, should back the goal. So. Yeah, uh, too much confidence in this um, uh, Tottenham side. Great week for them. Arsenal winning the derby, going on to 
to rain to get that draw. Uh, you expect Harry Kane maybe to get the rest in this one. And Song starts the FA Cup. Then you look at the Tottenham side. I think Song will get a goal in yeah, this one. Finally, Edison Cavani. Mm, highest goal scorer in the league. On. Uh, you expect him to get the I, ball. I think when he plays, uh, he's always a threat. Uh, uh, I, I think he will uh, um, uh, play and he will get the goal. Yeah, looks nice. All right, guys. Uh, go out there and uh, have fun. Uh, call your friends as well to share on the phone and subscribe right here on Tregong TV. As we always say, nothing is cast in stone. Uh, but based on certain probabilities and you know some of the uh, facts and statistics that we've gone through, uh, we think these are really good predictions for this weekend. Have yourself a great time.